a line of words appeared in front of Hanju. Detected that primordial origin and the heavenly Tao reject each other, so it can't enter the heavenly Tao. Primordial origin doesn't have any ill intentions towards the heavenly Tao, either. No ill intentions? Then, why was he here? Hanju continued to derive and deducted another 200 billion years of his lifespan. He is avoiding a powerful existence. As for what it is, the system cannot derive it. So, he was here to hide? Hanju hesitated to establish a connection with primordial origin. Once this fellow successfully transformed, he would be the same as him. No! Wouldn't this expose that he was a primordial fiend celestial? In any case, this fellow did not want to harm the heavenly Tao. It didn't matter to him. After Hanju made up his mind, he looked away. The appearance of primordial origin made Hanju feel a sense of danger. He still had to speed up the nurturing of the chaotic fiend celestials. Hanju called Great Loose Heaven into the Daoist Temple. Great Loose Heaven's cultivation was already at the perfected pseudo-sage realm. It was very suitable for him to directly transform into a chaotic fiend celestial. It just so happened that Hanju did not want to give him the Great Dao Purple Chi. He suppressed his excitement and greeted Han. Chu. He had been in the Hundred Peak Immortal River for a period of time. Han Ju finally called for him. Could it be to attain the Tao? Great Loose Heaven's heart that had experienced the vicissitudes of time began to tremble. The first thing Han Ju said was, Great Loose Heaven, is your goal to be a sage or higher? Great Loose Heaven was stunned. Although he was a mighty figure of the immortal world, Great Loose Heaven didn't know about the deity realm of the Ruins of End and the extraordinary person hidden in the depths of the chaos. Hanju said, Pain. The process of replacing the bloodline is very painful. In addition, I'll move you to another place to cultivate diligently later. It's equivalent to losing your freedom. I'll only let you go after the Great Tao Calamity ends. Great Tao Immeasurable Calamity Great Loose Heaven was secretly shocked. Although he didn't understand what the Great Tao Immeasurable Calamity was, when he thought of the Heavenly Devil Calamity and the Flame Race's Calamity, it was obvious that the Heavenly Tao was not as safe as before. Great Loose Heaven fell into a dilemma. Hanju wasn't in a hurry. He believed that Great Loose Heaven would make the right choice. If not for the fact that it was very difficult to get creation spirit stones, how could Hanju choose Great Loose Heaven? This was a huge opportunity. After a long while, Great Loose Heaven looked up and said, I choose the second path. Sept Master, please bestow me a supreme bloodline. Hanju waved his hand and took Great Loose Heaven into the primordial world. He then directly crushed his body with the power of freedom and extracted his soul. Great Loose Heaven was shocked, but he did not shout or scream. Instead, he waited nervously. Hanju took him to the Fiend Celestial Chi. Looking at the balls of Fiend Celestial Chi in front of him, Great Loose Heaven's soul trembled. He felt like he was facing his natural enemy. A fatal sense of danger constantly corroded his heart. Hanju hesitated for a while and decided to give the Shadow Flood Fiend Celestial to Great Loose Heaven. The fusion process was even more painful than Great Loose Heaven imagined, but in order not to embarrass himself in front of Hanju, he still endured it. In the blink of an eye, another thousand years passed. Seeing that Great Loose Heaven had already adapted to the power of the Shadow Flood Fiend Celestial, Hanju no longer used his dermic powers to protect him. He turned his attention back to reality and started cultivating. He had been in seclusion for a thousand years. After more than a hundred thousand years, the Jade Pure Sacred Sect was still around. It was the strongest holy land in the rural world. It was all thanks to the White Robed Buddha's support. However, the Jade Pure Sacred Sect was no longer the same as before. The old location of the Jade Pure Sacred Sect was already barren, far from the current Jade Pure Sacred Sect. Hanju suddenly wanted to take a walk.
he sent out a soul thought and transformed into a clone to descend on the old location of the Jade Pure Sacred Sect. The mountains here were undulating. The 18 peaks of the Jade Pure Sect were no longer there. There were even very few people here. As he walked in the forest, the sunlight shone on Hanju through the cracks among the leaves. Images of the past appeared in his mind. For some reason, Hanju thought of the previous sect master of the Jade Pure Sacred Sect, Li Qingzi. Are you satisfied with the current Jade Pure Sacred Sect? Hanju muttered in an emotional tone. Unfortunately, the Heavenly Tao had restarted and Li Qingzi's soul had long dissipated. He didn't have a chance to see the Jade Pure Sacred Sect again. Hanju didn't use his sage sense to scan the surroundings. Instead, he blocked his senses and walked around as if he was traveling the forest. Half a day later, Hanju stuffed a manual into a crack in a mountain. It was the six paths of reincarnation technique. His soul thought returned to his body. Hanju's gaze turned to the immortal world. The current Hanming was already at the six mystic divine origin realm but couldn't break through to the zenith heaven golden immortal realm. This was the limit of his potential. He wouldn't advance unless he became the disciple of a mighty figure. Hanju sent him a voice transmission. Han Ming, who was cultivating in the cave abode, suddenly opened his eyes. Han Ming. Hanju's voice sounded again, making Han Ming understand that he was not hallucinating. This voice. Han Ming couldn't forget it. Han Ming suppressed the huge waves in his heart and asked. What is it? Want to join the hidden sect? You need me? No. I'm just giving you an opportunity. Then forget it. I don't want to cause trouble for you. I already owe you a lot. Han Ming shook his head. He had also hated Han Ju's ruthlessness in the past, but if not for him, the Heavenly Emperor wouldn't have helped him reincarnate. Therefore, he only felt reverence and gratitude towards Han Ju and didn't even dare to approach him. Han Ming was also silent. After calming down, Han Ming realized that there was something wrong with his words. Han Ju wouldn't look for him for no reason. Han Ming asked again, are you still there? Mm. All right, I'm willing to join the hidden sect. Then pack up. All right. Five minutes later, Han Ming left for the Hundred Peak Immortal River. Han Ju adjusted his state of mind and quickly entered cultivation again. Several years later, Han Ming came to the Hundred Peak Immortal River and was directly taken into the Daoist Temple by Han Ju. He didn't let Han Ming out but stayed in the Daoist Temple to cultivate. Han Ming sat on a mat and carefully glanced at him. Han Ming mocked himself. What was he thinking? He stopped thinking and focused on cultivating. Han Ju didn't say anything to him. Perhaps he wanted to see his cultivation attitude and potential. He couldn't lose face. Outside the 33rd heaven, the sages gathered in the Universal Hall. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du had already returned. He scanned the sages and said, Fellow Daoist Han and I joined forces and obtained the Earth Immortal World. Next, I plan to fuse the Earth Immortal World into the Heavenly Tao and create a spatial tunnel between the two worlds to connect them. Earth Immortal World The sages looked at each other. They had all heard of this world. In the past, the Earth Immortal World was also a part of the Immortal World. Just like the ancient desolate, after the Battle of the Sages, the primordial world shattered and split into many pieces. Now, only the immortal world remained in the heavenly Tao. Cho Xilai said, yes, just tell us if you need us to do anything. The other sages did not have any objections and felt that this matter was not too big. Emperor Shao said, recently, a mysterious coffin appeared outside the netherworld. Its aura is unfathomable. I don't dare to approach it. It's still up to the heavenly venerate to decide. Oh? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du couldn't help but look outside the netherworld. After a while, he saw Primordial Origin's coffin. He couldn't help but frown. 
He immediately vanished. The other sages followed closely behind. The sages came to Primordial Origin's coffin together. Fong Yang stared at it and frowned. The stone tablet in front of the coffin did not move, but it caused the sages' hearts to palpitate. What is this? When did it appear? Emperor Shao, why didn't you say so earlier? Did this thing hurt you? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du pointed at Primordial Origin's coffin and asked. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du said, we're not sure, either. The South Extreme Heavenly Venerate raised his eyebrows. Should we think of a way to suppress it? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du shook his head. He carefully stared at Primordial Origin's coffin and fell into deep thought. At this moment, the stone tablet shook violently, startling all the sages. They took out their respective supreme treasures and waited solemnly. Streaks of blood appeared on the stone tablet. Words were written on it like long bleeding worms. Soon, a line of words appeared. It was difficult to understand. The sages couldn't understand. Fang Yang read, born in chaotic times, married to the heavenly Tao, died of fate, and was reborn in the primordial chaos. The South Extreme Heavenly Venerate asked in surprise, you can understand it? Fang Yang said, the Tao ancestor taught me such words. They are written by the chaotic fiend celestial. The sages were deep in thought. They couldn't understand, so they didn't dare to confirm if Fang Liang was telling the truth. Li Dao Kong said, let's think of a way to eliminate it or drive it away. Shu sure, Dudao nodded. I agree. Li Dao Kong glanced at him with disdain. Shu sure, Dudao pretended not to see it. Merit to the Heavenly Dao, Heavenly Venerate Xian Du muttered. Fang Liang said, it should be a chaotic fiend celestial in the coffin. As for this stone tablet, it's probably a supreme treasure. We should be careful. The sages nodded and continued to discuss how to deal with primordial origin. Han Zhu opened his eyes. He entered seclusion for another thousand years in joy. He had already begun to treat a thousand years as a day. He was improving every day. This feeling was too satisfying. Han Zhu looked at Han Ming beside him. In the past thousand years, Han Ming had also been cultivating diligently and had never spoken. He was very well behaved. Not bad. Han Zhu directly teleported them to the second Dao field. Han Ming opened his eyes and discovered that the Daoist temple had changed. Han Zhu said, cultivate here in the future. You can take a walk outside. There are a total of five people in this Dao field including you. Listen to Murong Chi in the future. Murong Chi? Han Ming noted it down silently. Han Zhu sent a voice transmission to Murong Chi. After telling him Han Ming's background, he returned to the Hundred Peak Immortal River. He stood in the Daoist temple and stretched, checking his emails. Your son Han Tuo has invaded a little heavenly Dao. Your good friend evil heavenly emperor was attacked by your enemy, Fuck Sishin. He was severely injured. Your good friend Jing Tian Gong has entered the Dark Forbidden Zone. Your disciple Long Hao has absorbed the providence of the dragon race and his cultivation has increased greatly. Your son Han Tuo was attacked by a little heavenly Dao life form, X67202239. Your good friend ancestor Shi Tian has entered the ancient desolate. Your good friend Pen Xian has entered the ancient desolate. Your descendant Han Yu received a dream from your enemy, Mu Wa. His cultivation has increased greatly. Recently, Fuxishan had been very active. Even Mu Wa had begun to move around and had even found Han Yu. Han Zhu continued reading. After he finished reading all the emails, he sent a dream to Han Yu. In the dream, Han Yu opened his eyes and saw Han Zhu, who was glowing with divine light. He immediately became vigilant. What's going on? An illusion? Han Yu frowned as if he was facing a great enemy. Han Zhu smiled teasingly. Little fellow, you don't remember me? Han Yu's eyes widened when he heard the voice, and he said with a trembling voice, 
Senior, it's... You? Hal Yu hurriedly cupped his fists. I will never forget Senior's kindness. What instructions do you have for me, Senior? Han Ju said, has anyone visited you in your dreams recently? Han Yu frowned. He couldn't help but think of Niwa's dream. Why did it attract this mysterious senior? Niwa was an existence that surpassed sages. This mysterious senior was definitely not weak. Otherwise, it was impossible for him to sense it. Han Yu subconsciously rejected him. He had seen Han Tua before. He was very annoying and pretentious. Han Yu suddenly thought of something, and his expression shook. His body couldn't help but tremble. The painful memories that had been sealed in the depths of his heart appeared. Back then, when he was in the greatest despair, he had begged his ancestor Han Tuo to save the Han family. Han Tuo had not replied to him. While he was filled with anger and hatred, a savior he had never imagined appeared. It was his ancestor's ancestor. After so many years, Han Yu had also tried to find his life-saving ancestor, but he had never found him. So, he has been taking care of me all along. He even gave me a cultivation technique. Han Yu was touched and aggrieved. Although he already had descendants, in front of his ancestors, he would always be a child. Seeing Han Yu's eyes turn red, Han Ju had a headache. He hated such emotional scenes the most. Since you know who I am, you also know why I helped you. Now, you should also understand why Niu Wa is looking for you, Han Ju snorted and said sternly. Han Yu's emotions were interrupted. He was a deity realm existence, after all. He naturally wouldn't act like a child anymore. He was no fool. There was no love in the world without a reason. Why did Niwa look for him? Did she really think highly of his talent? Han Yu's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, two stars. Niwa still remembered the humans? In Han Ju's impression, Niwa cared more about the demons than humans. Otherwise, with the backing of a sage, how could the human race be in trouble? Han Ju asked in his mind, is what Han Yu said true? 50 million years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Niwa did tell him that. Han Ju looked at him and said, since we've already acknowledged each other, I'll preach the Tao for you. Han Yu was pleasantly surprised and hurriedly thanked him. Han Ju immediately used the great Tao of extreme origin to drown Han Yu's consciousness, making him immersed in the vastness of the great Tao. After a certain period of time, Han Yu opened his eyes. It was as if he had a dream. Once he woke up, the world he knew had already changed drastically. Han Yu suddenly thought of something and muttered with a vexed expression, I forgot to ask for my ancestor's name. Sigh. Although it was a sigh, Han Yu quickly smiled. In the past, he always felt lonely. Now that he saw Han Ju, he understood that he also had someone to care about. His heart was warm. Just you wait, I will definitely surpass you. Han Yu's eyes burned with fighting spirit. He spent 50 years preaching to Han Yu. After Han Ju severed the dream, he didn't start cultivating immediately. Instead, he looked at Primordial Origin's coffin outside the netherworld. Primordial Origin's coffin was still there, and the Primordial Chaos tablet did not move. However, Han Ju felt the remnant aura of the sages nearby. It seemed that the sages had already discovered Primordial Origin some time ago. Han Ju looked at the Heavenly Tao. It was invisible, but the providence of the Heavenly Tao wrapped the immortal world and the myriad worlds like a huge barrier. He discovered that a line appeared beside this huge barrier. The other end of this providence line entered the darkness and was connected to the distant Earth immortal world. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du also returned. After hesitating for a moment, Han Ju still decided to find Heavenly Venerate Xian Du. 
He arrived outside the 33rd heaven and had just appeared in the Universal Hall when the door opened. Han Zhu arrived in front of Heavenly Venerate Xian Du. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du said, You're here for the mysterious coffin outside the netherworld, right? Han Zhu nodded. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du sighed. I've contacted Master. This coffin has a powerful background. He escaped from the ancient desolate. The reason why he came to the Heavenly Tao is to use the Heavenly Tao's providence to avoid the inauspicious evil and Tao devils. Han Zhu asked in surprise, the Heavenly Tao can also block the inauspicious evil and Tao devils? Previously, an inauspicious deity had infiltrated the immortal world. If not for the strange deity going to devour it, the immortal world would definitely be in chaos. That's right. This is also why the inauspicious evil is only in the dark forbidden zone, while the Tao devils are only in the deity realm of the ruins of end. The heavenly Tao might not be powerful, but its rules are extremely high. Like giant god Pangu, the heavenly Tao is definitely the safest place in the chaos, but it's also the place with the most shackles. It's like a prison. You can be safe in it, but you won't be able to escape it. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du nodded. Han Zhu asked, if the inauspicious evil infiltrates the Heavenly Tao, what does that mean? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du shook his head. Impossible! The next second, he seemed to have thought of something and looked terrified. Han Zhu was already making it clear. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du stood up and said, I have to tell Master. Han Zhu nodded and left. After returning to the Hundred Peak Immortal River, Han Zhu felt relaxed. It had to be said that it was really good to have Heavenly Venerate Xian Du around. He could do anything. Han Zhu thought of Li Qingzi inexplicably. Back then, he had always cultivated in peace. Li Qingzi was always busy with everything in the sect. At most, Li Qingzi would ask him what to do. Sigh. He was really getting old and nostalgic. Han Zhu laughed at himself. He continued cultivating. 800 years later, Heavenly Venerate Xian Du sent him a voice transmission, saying that he had something to discuss. Han Zhu replied that he had to enter seclusion for a thousand years. He was still 200 years away. Although Heavenly Venerate Xian Du was puzzled, he could only agree. After the thousand years were up, Hanju came to the Universal Hall to see him. Hanju asked, What is it? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du said, I've asked. They are inauspicious deities. They are existences who have developed intelligence among the inauspicious evil. Now, there are mysterious existences among the inauspicious deities who have gathered them and might be about to succeed. They can't affect the Heavenly Tao for the time being. We can be at ease. Oh. Han Zhu responded. He was very curious about Laozi. Laozi seems to be biased towards the Heavenly Tao. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du said, Be it the inauspicious deity or the chaotic Fian Celestial's coffin, we can ignore them. This time, I've returned from the deity realm of the ruins of End and brought a prodigy. Fellow Taoist Han, do you want to take him in as your disciple? giving me a disciple of the human school? Do you want to plant spies? Han Zhu rolled his eyes. Hee <laughs> hee. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du didn't want to talk to him. Although Li Mu Yi made him unhappy, the human school had lost its face, after all. He didn't want to mention it lest it hurt Han Zhu's relationship with him. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du said seriously, this child is not simple. He was a freedom sage in his previous life and died when he tried to break through to the great Tao in the chaos. He's a conate life form with the highest potential. He might even reach the potential of a chaotic fiend celestial in the future. Han Zhu asked in surprise, if he's so powerful, why are you giving him to me? Because he doesn't submit to me. In the heavenly Tao, only you can subdue him. Why do we have to subdue him? He has too many enemies in the deity realm of the ruins of end. I want to rope him into the heavenly Tao, but he holds it in disdain. 
fellow Taoist Han, this child values relationships. Once he acknowledges you, he will definitely not leave the Heavenly Tao. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du stared at Han Zhu and said helplessly. The current Heavenly Tao was weak. If he did not rope in some geniuses from the outside world and relied on himself to develop, it would be too slow. All right. Han Zhu and Heavenly Venerate Xian Du chatted about the reincarnation space again. Although he had already successfully grasped the Earth Immortal World, Heavenly Venerate Xian Du did not plan to give up on the reincarnation space. Immortal Emperor Samsara and the disciples of the human school who controlled the reincarnation space would use the providence of the Earth Immortal World to attain the Tao. There would only be two Heavenly Tao sages in the Earth Immortal World. This was Heavenly Venerate Xian Du's guarantee to Han Zhu. Not only that, but the other sage sects were also not allowed to enter the Earth Immortal World. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du and Han Zhu were only separated by the Earth Immortal World. Han Zhu was very satisfied with this. If Heavenly Venerate Xian Du was really impartial, Han Zhu would suspect him. No matter how powerful an existence was, they would still want benefits. You couldn't see it, but the difference in cultivation realm was huge. After chatting, Han Zhu returned to the Hundred Peak Immortal River. He sent his consciousness into the primordial world in his body. Great Loose Heaven's transformation process was about to end smoothly. Han Zhu hoped that the Heavenly Tao would reduce the tribulation and give him time to develop. More than 600 years later, a man appeared outside the Hundred Peak Immortal River. He wore a blue robe and looked imposing. The arrogance that emitted from his bones was very obvious. After waiting for a day, Guan Bubi was furious and immediately rushed to the Universal Hall outside the 33rd Heaven. Seeing Heavenly Venerate Xian Du, he asked, Why is that immeasurable merit divine might Heavenly Sage ignoring me? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du had a headache. He likes to enter seclusion for a thousand years every time. Previously, when I looked for him, I had to wait until his seclusion ended. Guan Bubi frowned, why is this person so pretentious? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du closed his eyes. Han Zhu entered seclusion for another thousand years. Unknowingly, he was already 170,000 years old. Time truly did not spare anyone. In the blink of an eye, the stars had shifted. Han Zhu opened his eyes and moved the champion, who had been waiting outside the Hundred Peak Immortal River for 10 years, into his Tao field. More than 300 years ago, Han Zhu knew that Guan Bubi came. At that time, it even caused a system notification. Detected bearer of Khanate Providence, check its origin. Seeing this notification, Han Zhu sighed. It had been a long time. He checked the information again. Guan Bubi, late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm, Freedom Reincarnation, Khanate Life Form, Invincible Heart, Chaotic Profound Technique. In his previous life, he was attacked when he was attempting to break through to the Great Dao Dao Fruit and had no choice but to reincarnate as a remnant soul. Han Zhu wasn't looking forward to Guan Bubi, to begin with, so he didn't break his own cultivation rule for this. It was a good opportunity to suppress him. At that time, the words that Guan Bubi said sounded extremely conceited. With such a personality, if he really acknowledged Han Zhu as his master, he might cause many troubles in the future. Guan Bubi said, All right, but I have to make one thing clear. Once I reach the Freedom Realm, I have to leave and pursue my Great Tao. In the future, if I attain the Great Tao, I will still acknowledge you as my master. As long as you don't go against my principles, you can entrust anything to me. His tone was neither humble nor servile. It was as if he was discussing a cooperation with Han Zhu. Han Zhu reached out and sucked Guan Bubi in front of him, directly using absolute purification on him. Guan Bubi said in a low voice, What do you mean? He couldn't break free from Han Zhu's dermic powers and couldn't move, so he was a little flustered. After all, he was only a Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal now. 
Han Ju said calmly, you fled from the deity realm of the ruins of End. I'm worried that you have other mighty figures tricks on you. I'll help you eliminate them. Don't worry. If I wanted to kill you, I wouldn't go to so much trouble. Guan Bubi heaved a sigh of relief. After the absolute purification ended, Han Ju let Li Xianao arrange a residence and opened the authority of the simulation trial for Guan Bubi. At this point, Han Ju had another disciple. When the personal disciples learned of this, they came to visit Guan Bubi. However, he directly entered seclusion and did not see them. This made the personal disciples unhappy. Li Xianao said meaningfully, this new disciple is at the late stage of the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. CHCK for EWSD Rise on No V L Bin, C L M. After landing, Great Loose Heaven fell into a daze. He suddenly woke up and hurriedly knelt down. Thank you for your kindness, Sect Master. Great Loose Heaven will forever be loyal to you. Great Loose Heaven said excitedly. With his six-star favorability towards him, Han Ju believed that he was speaking from the bottom of his heart. Han Ju smiled. Go out! Cultivate here in the future and listen to Moronchi. All right! Great Loose Heaven did not say anything else. After bowing, he walked out of the Daoist temple. Moronchi and the others sensed his aura and immediately walked over. Learning that Great Loose Heaven had also transformed into a chaotic fiend celestial, they congratulated him. After knowing that Great Loose Heaven was a terrifying existence at the perfected pseudo-sage realm, Yang Du became even more nervous. At the same time, he looked forward to his future even more. Everyone here was a chaotic fiend celestial. He would be the next. Great Loose Heaven knew that there were actually other chaotic fiend celestials. He was even more shocked, but he hid it in his heart. What was the sect master trying to do? Cultivate a chaotic fiend celestial army? After entering the reincarnation space, the two of them soared into the sky. They were even stronger than Yang Du back then. Apart from their own potential that was higher than Yang Du's, it was all thanks to the reincarnation space that had already occupied the Earth immortal world and enjoyed its providence. The speed at which the reincarnators became stronger was several times faster than before. Han Ju thought for a moment and decided to visit them in their dreams and preach the Tao to them. He directly pulled the two of them into the same dream. Without waiting for their reaction, the great Tao of extreme origin drowned their consciousness. At the edge of the galaxy, there was a planet shining with countless lights. Thousands of space stations circled around it. There were as many flying transports as there were locusts. On the planet, a majestic building was surrounded by clouds. At the highest level, a woman sat on the shiny glass floor. The walls were filled with technological light and were dazzling. She wore a tight black cultivation robe that accentuated her figure perfectly. She was Yin Hongchen. She suddenly opened her eyes. Her eyes were confused and her body trembled slightly. After a long time, she calmed down and muttered, was that a dream? No, my cultivation level has actually increased by quite a bit. It must be the work of that mysterious senior who taught me my cultivation back then. Yin Hongchen's eyes lit up. She was already a top-notch reincarnator. She had tried all sorts of rewards in the reincarnation space and had never experienced such an experience. Yin Hongchen couldn't help but be curious about that senior. Who was he? After returning to the Hundred Peak Immortal River, Han Ju didn't continue cultivating. Instead, he preached the Tao to the disciples. Under the attack of the Hidden Punishment lineage, the disciples who went out and didn't return had been captured. The disciples who didn't return were all dead. This time, Guan Bubi was immersed in the lecture. Heavenly Venerate Xian Du's voice suddenly entered Han Ju's ears, his tone revealing a hint of anxiety. Surprised, Han Ju immediately looked at the netherworld. Indeed! A large amount of aura approached from the dark forbidden zone outside the netherworld as if it wanted to drown it. 
Han Zhu didn't interrupt. When Heavenly Venerate Xian Du suddenly appeared, the sages turned to look at him. The impatient South Extreme Heavenly Venerate was the first to ask, Who is it this time? Heavenly Venerate Xian Du sighed. The Calamity race is the strongest race in the deity realm of the Ruins of End. This time, they have the backing of Fuxishan and the Heavenly Lord of Primordial Beginning. As expected, Fuxishan is not dead. His backing is Nuwa. Nuwa is the first generation sage and has long been a great Dao sage. She was an important pawn left behind by the first generation sages to supervise the next heavenly Dao sages. After the Dao ancestor disappeared, the situation of the calamity changed drastically. That was why she escaped. Fuxishan is a sage supported by Nuwa. They're actually siblings. Fuxishan and Nuwa are united. This calamity is equivalent to a showdown. The sages frowned. They were not surprised that Nuwa was still alive. After all, they had guessed so before. Shurdudao snorted. They must be stronger. Otherwise, would they be sent here just to die? Li Daokong smiled disdainfully. That's right. The sages looked at them in surprise. Why were these two sages suddenly on the same side? Fang Liang, Shi Du Dao, and Li Daokong were all new sages. They weren't polite to each other and did not need to be polite. Looking at his three pawns, Han Zhu didn't say anything. 